Hey everyone, it's Jared here with Heat Press Nation, and I'll be showing you how to customize a special circular plaque with sublimation. So stay tuned as we customize this. Now, if you enjoy this video or find it to be helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. But to catch the latest tutorials and live episodes from Heat Press Nation, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell. Let's get started. If you'd like to think outside the box for awards plaques, Unisub has got you covered with their round, black-edged sublimation plaques. Similar to their rectangular plaques, this round plaque is designed with high-quality MDF hardboard to allow your transfer images to appear vividly on its white gloss finish. It's also robust enough for your images to last as long as the plaque itself. And if you're particularly looking for more compact awards to give out, these round plaques are a perfect suit. And thanks to the versatility of sublimation, you can be as creative as you'd like in presenting these memorable awards plaques to their recipients. In preparing an image to print for these plaques, we recommend using the Unisub template available at heatpressnation.com, where by using graphic design software, you can simply use its bleed layer as a clipping mask as you import and scale down your image to the plaque's size. Set the imprint and safety areas to 50% opacity and you'll have a better idea on how to place the text, patterns, and other design elements. Once your image is ready, hide the imprint and safety areas and you may print it through your sublimation printer. For sawgrass printers, send it to sawgrass print manager and use these settings. Substrate set to MDF board, paper set to your paper's profile, leave the mirror option checked, and in the color tab, set the color mode to either photographic or vivid, depending on your image's detail. With these all set, go ahead and click print on SPM. To apply sublimation transfers on Unisub awards plaques, set your machine to 80 to 90 seconds at 400 degrees Fahrenheit with medium pressure. As your machine reaches temperature, you can check your machine's pressure by wrapping the plaque in parchment paper and placing it on its lower platen. Bring the heating element down and you can adjust the pressure accordingly. If you're having trouble pressing down with the machine at its lowest pressure, you can temporarily replace the removable silicone pad with either a sheet of parchment paper or a blank fabric like a t-shirt. With your pressure set, bring your plaque to a spot to cool down while your machine reaches temperature. Once both your machine and plaque are ready, place your sublimation transfer facing upwards on the lower platen, then add the plaque facing down towards the transfer. Attach the plaque onto the transfer with heat tape. Flip it with the paper side up and cover it with a protective sheet, then press. Once the time reaches zero, open your machine and allow the transfer to cool down for a moment. After waiting, you can quickly peel the transfer on the center and your round plaque has now been sublimated. To learn more about Unisub's round sublimation plaques and other blanks, please visit us at heatpressnation.com. For any questions, you can get in touch with the My Expert representative at support.heatpressnation.com. Once again, I'm Jared of Heat Press Nation, and thanks for watching.